Hello everybody and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at gizmos. Uh, they're pretty much used for you know, doing debugging things and seeing how things are going to work out. Uh, examples of this are pathing systems or you know like a track system. So you see the waypoints on a racetrack for cars to follow. Um, you can also use it to see like explosion radiuses. Um, all this also can be found on the uh, Unity scripting reference, which is where I got some of the examples from there. Um, but this is quite a simple thing to set up. So first of all, let's create a quick scene as normal. Um, so we get a plane here, which I'll probably do. So I want to grab a texture, a material, and got me grass textures. I want to do. Um, so we put that on there, and so let's also select that. And I'm just going to make a cube object here. Uh, first of all, we're basically going to make an array of empty points. So I'm just dragging these out here. So I'm going to make one there, uh, copying and pasting with Control C, Control V, and sort of putting up four corners, or not, uh, you know, four sides rather, roughly. Um, you know, they should, yeah, well, they're all there, but you'll notice that now uh, we can't really see them. I've actually just made these um, like one point. Um, so basically, what we have here is we just have a cube, and it's just got a bunch of empty points. Now this could be so these can actually be used for you know AI to walk towards, or just to sort of loop around, or you know just for something to keep spinning around in a weird square. Um, anyway, so if we go over to here, let's just make a, a new script. So let's call it uh, Gizmo stuff. Stuffs. Yeah, sure, that works. Um, okay, there we go, we'll reload all for those. And it didn't want to load it, let's try again. There we go. Um, so this is actually quite simple, so we'll do void on draw gizmos. Um, first of all, we'll do... So we basically have lots of different things we can do. We can set colours, we can draw cubes, textures, icons, lines, you can actually draw ray casts. so if you've got like a gun they want to see the actual ray cast that's fired or something, you can actually have that happen. Um, you can draw spheres, all these other things. So first of all we'll start with um, we'll start with like a cube. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Draw a cube. And you'll see here we actually have to set its uh, position and size. Um, what we're going to do is first of all we're going to do um, a vector three array. Actually, no. Uh, let's do a transform array. Uh, transform. So this is how to make an array. By the way, if you don't know, just put these little yeah, square brackets in, um, and we'll call these points. So these are the points that we want. So um, what well, first? What we're going to do is four int i equals zero. I is less than points dot uh, uh, length then i plus plus so that's just a standard for loop so it's starting at zero um, and then if it's less than the actual length of the points for us it'll be four or in this it'll be three um, then i uh, adds one repeats this code until it will finally exit yeah, this is what happens after the loop occurs. So we're actually just going to make it, so each point, we're going to draw the cube, so uh, point i dot position, and then we're going to do, uh, for size, we're going to do vector 3 dot 1, and that should give us just a value of the size of 1. Um, now hopefully, this should work. So if we do this, I've actually got to make the Array public first of all. There we go. Oh, it doesn't like what I've done there. No, oh, there we go. It does. Uh, so there we go. We can see the points now. So if we just do this. Oh no, it doesn't like something now. Oh, it's because I don't have anything there. Don't worry about that just now. I'll um, make sure we fix that. So if you see now, we can actually see the points that we're dragging them in. So it's now drawing the cubes, no matter where they are. And this is actually quite useful for seeing where things are. Um, but right now they're sort of a bit boring, they're sort of grey, there's no colour to them. And we've also got this error. 
So let's just fix all those. So we just want this to happen. Um, if points uh, dot length is bigger than zero, basically. So as long as we've got one in there, it's fine. Um, otherwise, it's just going to keep telling us, oh, look, there's nothing there, we can't draw anything. Um, but initially, we're going to probably want to do a few things here. So if I do uh, gizmos dot color equals color dot um, let's go I just go for a blue We've got blue there we go um, you'll also notice um, that color is done in the American style uh, so if you're from the UK or I don't know what other countries use uh, U in the word color um, then make sure that you're not putting that in there um, if you if you notice you keep making that mistake it might take time for you to um, sort of get over that but it happens. Um, so there we go, it's now got the blue squares which is pretty awesome. Um, we can't select them at the moment, but that's fine. Um, the other thing we can do though is we can actually do another method here. We can make it so that um, on draw gives most selected, so we can actually make something uh, draw when it's actually selected. So we can actually, instead of having this in here, we take this out for now. We can only make it so it draws it if we select the actual object. Select that, we can see everything there. If we don't want to see it, we don't need to. So this is actually quite useful, so you don't have too many things, like debug things, on there. So it can actually be used for the example that's actually shown on the Unity script references. If you have like an explosion thing, um, then you can actually select it and see the radius that it will affect. If you have like an explosion needs to happen in a specific place and affect certain objects, you'll know to put them in that radius or extend the radius or something like that. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to it, really. Um, we can sort of do more things here. Um, we can do uh, gizmos dot draw. Hmm, let's draw a line. Uh, we're going to do it from the points high up position, and we'll actually <laughs> let's make it do. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just make it draw to actually vector three dot zero. We'll actually make it draw to the zero 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 coordinate of the world. Um, which is apparently over here. If we actually move this about, you can see those lines, yeah they're now just being drawn there. So you can actually use those lines to be saying like you could use them to see um you know, if you had a target to move. So if we just make it um, draw to a target instead. This could be used for AI. So public transform target. So we'll actually try and get to the target as well. But we'll only do this if target not equal to null. Oh, actually, we need to fix that uh, error there. We've got add target dot position. There we go. Um, so right now target's null, so it shouldn't draw these lines. Is that loads? There we go. So there's no target right now, so it won't do anything. So if we next sort of do this, let's just remove all of these. Remove this script. So this is now our target. We've got another cube over here. Um, let me just put a material on this. Let's go with the coin one. Um, See, we've got this here. If we just put cube, you can see there it's targeting that cube uh, like so. So that's quite useful. Um, you can use this in many different ways. You can also do spheres. So you can easily just quickly change draw cube to draw sphere. And then those should hopefully change. Oh, they didn't like that. Oops. Uh, what? Oh, is it different for spheres? My bad. Uh, oh, it's just a radius. My bad. Uh, we'll just set the radius to three. Um, and there we go. Oh, okay, there's a there's a quite large spheres. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, Unity didn't let me move around there. Um, okay, well, you can uh, move these about uh, like so, and you can see stuff like that. So you can do whatever you want with these, but they can be very useful for tracking where things are, and you know, being able to visually see things a bit better if you've got empty objects um, so if you have like a sound manager thing you could perhaps put a an icon on that although you can um, 
you know, set icons on here, like so. But it's up to you how you want to do it, because those ones will always appear. Whereas these ones, well, depending on the way you do it, you either use one draw gizmo so it's always on, or you just do it when it's selected. But anyway, I hope this tutorial was useful for some people. Um, I know there's a few things people want me to do. Uh, I've been uh, asked a few questions of various things and all tutorials people want me to make. I'll get around to those eventually, um, but I'm doing a sort of a set list at the moment. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.